Okay. Hey everybody, it's Professor J here. And today we're gonna do one example, subtracting rational expressions. So an, a rational expression is a fancy way of saying a fraction with expressions of x on the top and on the bottom. So one example might look like this, 2x over 3x minus two. You got a fraction, you have an expression of x on the top, and an expression on, of x on the bottom. And what I wanna do is subtract two separate rational expressions. So let's say I have this as my second rational expression, okay? Another fraction with an expression of x on the top and on the bottom. So anytime we add or subtract rational expressions, it's the same idea as adding or subtracting fractions. We always, always, always need a common denominator. This is only when we're adding and subtracting fractions and rational expressions. So in a situation like this, the common denominator would be the product of the two denominators. So this guy would need a 2x plus 5 to be multiplied by this denominator. Whatever I do to the bottom of a fraction, I do to the top. And this guy would need oops, a 3x minus 2 multiplied by its denominator, and anything also that I do to the bottom, I also do to the top. So when I multiply a 2x plus 5 times this 2x, this 2x is going to distribute. So I'll end up with a 4x squared plus a 10x for my first numerator all over the product of these two, which I'm going to keep in factored form because it's easier to simplify later if that's the case minus the product of these two, which is a FOIL situation because I have a binomial times a binomial. So I'm gonna do FOIL, which means multiply the first two terms, 3x times 3x, 9x squared, the two outer terms, minus 6x, the two inner terms, minus 3x, and the two last terms, plus two. All over now the same thing, this 2x plus five times this 3x minus two. And now I have the same denominator, which means I could work the top and keep the bottom. So the bottom is going to stay as the product of these two expressions. Now be careful when you're subtracting rational expressions. Because we're going to take this first numerator, 4x squared plus 10x, and we're going to subtract the whole polynomial, the whole expression in the second numerator, 9x squared minus 6x minus 3x plus 2. And anytime you subtract a whole polynomial like that, that negative is going to distribute into every term in that second um, parentheses. So remember that when you're subtracting rational expressions, if you're subtracting this whole numerator, that negative, that minus, is distributing to every term there. So really what happens when I take down the parentheses is I have a 4x squared plus a 10x minus a 9x squared, minus minus 6x, plus 6x, minus minus 3x, plus 3x, and then a minus that 2 all over. Denominator still stays the same. Nothing going on there. Now, I'm almost done. All I need to do is to combine like terms and simplify if I can. So I have my x squared term, so I have a 4x squared minus a 9x squared, which is a negative 5x squared. And I have three x terms. So I have a 10x plus a 6x, which is 16x, plus a 3x, which is a positive 19x. And then this minus two all by its lonesome. All over a 2x plus five times a 3x minus two. Now technically, if the numerator did factor, which looking at it, it doesn't factor. If the numerator did factor, I would want to factor it and see if there's anything on top that I have in common with the bottom, which will simplify my fraction further. In this particular example, I cannot factor the top, so I can leave this as my final difference, which is the same thing as subtraction. Now some teachers, what they want, they do also want you, instead of leaving the bottom in factored form, they might want you to also multiply that out and put the, nom the numerator and the denominator both in standard form. So I would leave the top the same, and then I would have to multiply out the bottom to put this in a different form. 
So that would be another FOIL situation. 2x times 3x, 6x squared, 2x times negative 2, negative 4x, 5 times 3x, plus 15x, and then a 5 times a negative 2, which is a negative 10. Almost completely there, because last but not least, I have like terms on the bottom, and I have to combine them. So I'm going to keep the top all the same, because it doesn't factor, it doesn't really simplify. And the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms, negative 4x plus 15x plus 11x minus 10. And this is another representation of the same difference. One of them is in factor form, and the other one is actually multiplied out in standard form. So this is what we do when we subtract rational expressions, right? We always need a common denominator. Once you have that, just remember that that minus is going to distribute to every term in the second numerator, and then combine like terms and simplify. So if you guys want any other videos or any other examples of this type of concept or any other concept, subscribe, like, give me comments, let me know. Also, check out my website, help me, professor. <laughs> help me, professor. J.com. Or you can even contact me with help me, professor. <laughs> I don't know why I'm writing that. Help me, Professor J at gmail dot com. All right, guys. Have a good one.